Ambition for me, it means, I think, envisaging possibility. Okay. And believing that that's possible. And, com and, and comprehending what's needed to achieve that possibility. Um, but at its raw and initial stage, it's, it's, it's an envisaging possibility. So are you ambitious? Or you're diff differently. <laughs> um, in my uh, 58 years on this earth, uh, I've done everything from um, racing professional motorcycle speedway to uh, opening New Zealand's first voicemail bureau service, which bombed. Okay. But then, having said that, learning from the School of Hard Knocks, I couldn't imagine myself not doing those things. I couldn't imagine myself with that regret of saying, oh, I always wanted to do that, and I didn't. To me, that's a, the driving force that, that, that gets me out there and, and doing what I'm doing now with this uh, virtual reality parachute flight simulator, is finding out, okay, what if? Um, thankfully, I've got the, the skills and resources to be able to, at, at, at some degree, find out. Because uh, ambition can be one thing, but it also needs to be able to take concrete steps to be able to move forward to, 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 to realise that ambition. Otherwise, it's just a dream. So why do you think you're this way? Have you always been like this? or? Uh, no. Uh, when I was growing up, I was, I would, I'd have to say I was pretty shy. Okay. And uh, around about when I was about uh, 20, 21 years old, uh, I came under the influence of a rugby coach, Merv Kenny. And Merv, if you see this, I salute to you, sir. Um, he lit in me a fire to be able to want to be a good rugby player, and I, I eventually did become a pretty good rugby player. Um, and that ability to be able to um, uh, become ambitious was essentially a, a, a journey that he helped marshal me to be able to think, go out and put yourself out there and see what happens. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Um, yeah, uh, his name's Alan Metney. Um He's a skydiver that I know. Uh, I know him personally. Um, he's also the president and CEO of a, a company that makes vertical wind tunnels. Uh, when I, I, I knew Alan in 2001, he had um, uh, ideas and dreams about vertical wind tunnels being able to open up a, a completely new market of recreational activity uh, and also for skydiving teams to train. He has produced that, he's now probably got uh, the, the iFly franchise and there's a pop, couple of um, vertical wind tunnels in New Zealand, one in Queenstown and one in Auckland, uh, but there's about a hundred of them all over the world. Uh, he's, he's pulled together the technology and the uh, marketing to be able to produce something that I th I'm, 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 I'm a, I admire. And he's, and he's done it in approximately 10 years, which is quite amazing when you think about what's involved with designing and building, refining um, the technology, the, the, the construction, and also um, how to be able to mass produce vertical wind funnel constructors and also to go to get people to pay money to actually go in the tunnel. So, yeah, Alan Mitney would have to be the most ambitious person I know. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? I think being able to be um, regularly made aware of um, new things. Um, to me, uh, as an entrepreneur, and I've had this um, a couple of times in some of my ventures, has been that, that generally speaking, an entrepreneur only, only the entrepreneur can see what's possible. So, to be more ambitious is to be able to open yourself up to more information about a, a wider and varied um, aspects of life that are interesting and to be able to um, comprehend that aspect of seeing which um, is uh, the, the, the start of ambition to be able to say, oh, what if can this be done? What can we do to be able to make this happen? This, these sort of questions and um, that recognition of Seeing a possibility, yeah, being able to be to, to regularly 
open yourself up to new experiences, new, new perspectives, new people.